Please approach the podium and give us your name and your address. My name is John Salter, and I live at 316 Simpson Place, which is just to the north of this property. And I have several concerns relating to this property and it being rezoned. This is the third time in its history that I know of that it has been requested to be rezoned, and each time it has been <coughs> declined at or declined at recommendation for development. And in that particular community, as you can tell from Mr. Norman and a few other people that have been present in the previous requests, that is very much a community. And if you sequester this one property of approximately two acres, that is going to have an eight foot fence around it, that will be less of a community feeling in your house. So, a few of my principal concerns are that with the previous attempts to rezone this particular property, there's been multiple different plans, and we did have a plan in place, not myself, but Mr. Simon had a plan in place for the higher density plan, higher density residential area of R10, and, but as you noticed, the, I'm sorry, I don't know your question. Planning and zoning person. Planning and zoning person <laughs> gave you a plan just before our discussion. So the plan could change again. It changed five minutes before this discussion started. So once again, the plan could change. So my main concern is if the plan does change after it's been approved, how much impact and how much consent will be approached to the community surrounding that particular property. I have not been approached about any planning over the past few years and I do not believe Mr. Norman has either who lived directly behind me or Mr. Duncan who recently sold his property, property, which is why he's not here. And another person was out of town, which is also why they're not here, but I'm rec I am representing them on their behalf. So that is why there are not as many people as we would like to be here today. So other concerns, if you'll give me a minute to I just received this plan at 1 o'clock today because the Planning and Zoning Board was very nice enough to call me and then email me the plan, but I was working so I barely had time to review it. I will, rec will say that, that we did complain about the aesthetic value of that property because if Planning and Zoning guy, <laughs> if you will go back to the adjacent property pictures that you had earlier, My property, this is the backyard of the property in question, and you can see the grass is neatly trimmed, and there's my house back there. And, but this, the problem with this picture is this picture was taken several years ago. Not weeks, not days, not months, years, as in approximately six to seven years. Currently, there is about five foot of shrubbery that is growing, five foot of foliage, and there is even a tree, a large pine tree, which has fallen in the middle of that property, which has not been cleaned up in two years. So, with that said, I'm concerned about, once again, the architectural control that was mentioned earlier. If new buildings are put in place, what will they, will the properties change? If they do change, which they have the potential to, will they be more aesthetic pleasing? Will they just turn into something that is not taken into upkeep? Another one of my concerns that was mentioned earlier was that this would be a, an area that is for families that are seeking to downsize or seniors over the age of 55. As in that community, we have several seniors over the age of 55, and we get along just fine. We talk every day sometimes. We see each other and we wave down the walkway. But there's also the potential for college students to move into this area, or even other people delinquents to possibly, and it even says in the letter of zoning that there can be three non-related members in one house. That means a total of 24 individual cars, which eventually adds to the traffic problem already occurring on either road. So then my problem becomes, what if an emergency occurs? If an emergency occurs, once again, we have that burn where a traffic accident could, be, could seriously occur or there are these on the plan provided by Mr. Sinek. We have the retention ponds near Eden Road where a car could crash into potentially if 
carries excessive rain events, which do frequently happen down in South Georgia, as we know the past month. But those are my primary concerns. I do, there are some improvements on this property that are being recommended as far as the aesthetic value that were our principal concerns of in our past <laughs> planning discussions. But I'm concerned with traffic. I'm concerned with what will possibly change and then the aesthetic value and then the possible changes that will not be consulted with the nearby community and then a su completely sequestered community from the community nearby. Any questions? Any questions from the staff? Maybe from the speaker? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many accidents have they had in that area? Yeah, you know, in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Within that area, I see cars frequently pulled over on the side of the road probably once every two months, at least, in my estimate. Just because there's a large buffer, particularly on the right side, the southern southern side. If you look at the map, on the southern side is large. recommendations but I did not have time to view them because I got them at one o'clock and I was out working with you. So I expect you can see them. That was my question. Uh, the staff has put like seven conditions on that that addresses a lot of the stuff mm -hmm. so that you brought up. I was, I was, that was my question if you read that. Thank you for some question. I'm sorry. I, the, 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 once again the plan could change. It's, it changed by 10 to 20 minutes. All right, are there any other questions for the uh, speaker? No, thank you.